right in front of you right now, Epson LS650. Now, this is an enhanced model and an upgraded model from the Epson LS300. It's using the same form factor, same housing. What is the difference? The difference is it's being upgraded to 4K and it comes with ER, Enhanced Audio Return Channel, whereby it's able to support Dolby Atmos sound. Let's start off with an introduction on the interface ports. Now on the left over here, it has a USB-A mainly used for power. If you do add things like a dongle, like a TV stick and so on and so forth. Now the advantage over here is the HDMI 2 is already on e up or up. So it is able to actually support the audio system like the AV receiver with the Dolby Atmos effect. HDMI 1, USB-A again, DC out to the power. So the US, so this is actually the power out, but the USB can be used for other functions like you put it a USB thumb drive, you'll be able to actually show things like movies, pictures, di play directly from the USB port, right? And optical out for the sound as well. And this is mainly used for service or maybe firmware upgrade and so on and so forth. As usual, this is the power button, power on, power off, right? Now, there is a special compartment door over here which actually able to access the focus. It's a focus lever whereby you can actually adjust the screen size and use this focus lever to focus the image. Now, what is this over here? A small little lever. Let's open up and take a look. Ooh. Now, it is actually a filter compartment. So there's a filter over there, right in color. You're able to change this when it gets dirty. Mainly used for the ventilation, right? Over here, look at the lens. The lens is being upgraded to a semi-spherical lens. So the throw distance of this lens is actually at 0 0.26, which translate that for a 100-inch screen, you need about 29.6 cm from the wall, meaning to say from this edge of the projector to the wall at 29.6 cm. What about for 120-inch? 120-inch, you just need a distance of 39 0.6 cm. On top of that, it is actually being powered by Yamaha. So Yamaha sound is a 20 watt speaker which works on a 2.1 channel, 5 watt speakers and a 10 watt subwoofer. Now something to take note is that LS650B is the same housing as the LS300, right? So what happened is there you cannot do the ceiling mount at all because those with the ceiling mount at the back over here, you'll be able to actually have, have those mounting screw at the side of the bottom housing. So for this model, LS650, you cannot do ceiling mount. Those who want ceiling mount will need to go for the other model, which is LS800. So once you boot up the projector, you need to enter your Google account to log into the Android system. After you have log, do the login, do the basic setup, you reach this basic Android TV page. Now, you notice that the alignment is actually not well aligned, whereby the left is actually more slanted to the left, right is actually higher, all right? So the four corners are not aligned. Now, Epson comes with this Epson setting assistant, whereby you can download from the Google phone or the iPhone, so you just need to download this app and you can just use this app to do the alignment setting or should I say keystone correction. So first you need to actually go to the projector settings installation, select because I'm using a screen so you select ultra short throw screen and select app. So then now I select to the next one. Okay, so this is the place also you can download the app as well. So I click on next. So over on the phone, okay, I just need to select the very first one. Within the Wi-Fi network, the system will detect. And after it's being detected, you select that we're using a screen, next, right? And display first pattern again. 
and then from the phone, right, I need to take two pictures. So now I'm taking the first picture from the phone, okay, first picture that's been taken, and the second picture that I'm taking, and there it goes looking at the screen, it will align on its own right now, and it's already well aligned. So this is what we call Octo Setup. So we have done the alignment for the projector. What we are going to do right now is if your image is still not clear, remember to open the small little door on the right hand side of the projector and do the manual focusing. So what we do right now is going into YouTube. Now we search for some video and play the video quality. Now, having said this, this is actually a very bright projector because the lumens is at a whopping 3,600 lumens. I repeat, 3,600 lumens. At this price point, there is no other projector is actually brighter than this at this price point. So let's play a video and let's discover the brightness. Now I'm filming this in a room which is very bright on its own. And yet, we will be able to see all these images clearly. So, in a moment, I will turn off the light briefly. This is in total darkness. Okay, and pay attention when I turn on the lights. And it is still very, very clear on our vision. There is in fact no difference from a television. Do any one of you want to see a comparison of this projector with another projector? If yes, I would like to hear from you from the comments below. I would like to actually do a comparison between Epson and for movie theatre. Would you like to see that? If yes, comment below. Epson 690, though the form factor is actually small, but it comes with a respectable built-in speaker by Yamaha, which is 2.1 channel. So let's do a very simple sound test on the speaker with the integrated Yamaha soundbar. I'm putting about three quarter. The sound quality is very respectable with such a small integrated soundbar integrated into the unit. At least, I can guarantee you the sound quality is way much better than the normal television. Now let's do a test on the fan noise of the Epson LS650. So when we keep silent, let's see what is the fan noise from about one meter away. It go as low as 40 decibel, which is a very acceptable sound level. Let's do a physical measurement of the LS650. In terms of depth, it's at 40, 40 cm. In terms of the length or the width, it's about 46.5 right, or 47. In terms of height, 
is about 13.5. According to Epson specs, this model projector is able to achieve a throw distance from the edge of the projector to the screen for 100 inch screen is 26.9 cm, so it's about 27 cm, right? So let's do a measurement if it's upholding to what it claimed. So measuring at the edge of the projector, but we are measuring towards the wall. So it's measuring at about 0.29 meter, which is 29.7 cm. But taking note that is that is the distance from the edge of the projector to the wall. So taking into the factor that the screen size is about 2.5, 2.6 cm, so you minus off is about 27 cm. So it is upholding to what the specs is stating, as stated. So what is the cabinet that has been needed from the front of the projector? So let's do the measurement. We need about 68 cm from the wall. According to specs, Epson LS650 is stating that their NC lumens, or should I say ISO lumens, is actually at 3600. Now, I want to measure the NC lumens if it is upholding to what they stated. So, what we have done is that we have actually done two tests. One, in vivid mode, two, another which is on the dynamic mode. Why is that so? Because when we measure the vivid mode, it actually is way below the 3006. So we are not convinced that it's actually matching the 3006 at its status, but it's an absent. So what we have proceeded to do is we have done another test based on dynamic and it really upholds and beyond the stated lumens. So let's take a look. Now on this white NC lumens on vivid mode, the NC lumens turn out to be 3134. And for the color, we achieve 3000, no sorry, it's only at 2919 for the vivid mode. So now let's take a look at the dynamic mode. For the white, the dynamic mode is at 4352, which is a whopping way, way beyond the 3006 as stated. And for the color, is very close to 3,600. It is at 3,593. So yes, it is upholding to what is stated for 3,600 lumen. I'd like to highlight three advantages of this LS650. First and foremost, power management. Now the energy management of this unit is pretty good. It's at about 194.4 which is about 195 watt of usage only so which is considered quite a green product out of so many of the ultra short throw projectors that we had test first second for those who those of our friends who are in singapore would like to know that this model of projector comes with three years on site warranty which is a very good selling point any problem, give a call to Epson and Epson will be at your place to fix it. Before we move on to the next advantage, if you'd like to be updated for the latest home theater gadgets, including projectors, home theater system and audio system, you should, and in fact, you need to subscribe to our channel and please share our video in order to boost our YouTube algorithm, as this will encourage us to do more of these videos for you. Having said that, what is the last advantage? The last advantage is again the brightness at 3600 lumens as stated on the specs and the measurement test that we have just shown you it speaks by itself and four and take note and it is a very important keynote is that again for all of the projector range brightness is always the key to a good projector with all this i thank you